Are you going to learn about halves of different shapes? One half is written like this. It means a shape has two equal parts and from that we are talking about one part, one half. This circle has two equal parts which we can see here and one half will mean any one part of the shape. To show the fraction we take this paper and cover one half of the circle. This is one half. We write it as one by two. Now here we have a triangle. We can see it has two equal parts and when we talk about a half we mean any one part of the triangle. This triangle has four equal parts. We can see when we fold it the half has two parts. To show the half we have to color two parts of the shape. We can also write this fraction as 2 by 4. This shape here has 6 parts. To see the half, we fold the paper in half and then we see the half has 3 parts. We cover 3 parts to show the half. This shape had 6 equal parts. We showed the half by coloring 3. So we can write the fraction as 3 by 6. This shape here has 8 equal parts. We are going to fold it to see the half. The half here has four equal parts. We can color any four parts to show the half. We write the fraction as 4 by 8. The total parts are 8 which are at the bottom. From that 4 are shown here. We are now going to learn about a quarter. A quarter is written like this 1 by 4. It means a shape has four equal parts and one quarter means any one part of the four parts. Now here this shape has eight equal parts and to see the quarter of this shape we are going to fold the shape first in a half and then we fold it again. We can see the quarter has two equal parts. So these two parts have to be colored to show the quarter of this shape. The fraction is two by eight which means a Quarter. This shape here has 16 equal parts and to show the quarter we will have to color 4 of them. We write it like this 4 by 16. To know the quarter of a shape we have a shape which is here. You fold it in half and then you fold it again. You have a quarter.